Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and in honor of the fact that I'm using one of the slowest phones ever to exist at the moment, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to speed up your iPhone, iPad, or iPod on iOS 12. These quick tips are super easy and do make a real difference, so I'd really encourage you to do them if your device is feeling a little bit slow, especially if you have an iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, an iPad Air, any of the older devices that are still supported. If you're still on iOS 11, I really do think you should update to iOS 12 as it does feel significantly faster. But if you're already on iOS 12 and it still feels a bit slow, hopefully some of these tips will help. All right, to start this off, let's go into your settings. Then we're gonna want to go to general, accessibility, reduce motion, and go ahead and toggle it on. This will give you a very nice smooth animation when opening and closing apps so that'll help reduce lag as you can see here. Now go back to settings. Again, we're in general and accessibility. Select reduce transparency and turn it on. This will make your dock look a little bit funny, but it does help speed your phone up as it gives it one less thing to do. Now let's make sure there aren't any apps bogging down your phone in the background. Go to settings, general, background app refresh, and here you have a choice. Either turn off every app that you don't want to be working in the background, or if you want the full effect, just go ahead and disable background refreshing altogether. This will make it so apps that aren't currently open, say for example Facebook, aren't doing anything unnecessary. Now let's turn off location services. Keep in mind that things like the weather app won't know where you are without location services, so you may not want to turn them off. But if you don't care, go to settings, privacy, location services, and disable it. And now let's turn off automatic updates that run without you knowing. Let's go back to settings, iTunes and app stores, and go ahead and turn off updates if it's on. While we're here, we're gonna wanna do something that'll free up some storage for you. So just scroll down and you should see a setting called offload unused apps. Go ahead and toggle that on. If you do all this, it really should give your device a boost. If it's still acting weird, maybe try rebooting it and hopefully that'll help. Or check and see if low power mode is on as that will slow down your phone to conserve battery life. It is also possible that you just have a bad battery on your phone. By going to settings, battery, battery health, and it will tell you whether or not it's at peak performance capability. If it says that it is, as it does here, then you're good. If it doesn't and says something else, you may want to get your battery replaced, and you should do it soon. Apple is going to be raising the price from $30 to $60 after December 31st, 2018. So if you're still at a time before that, you should really go get it replaced if it needs it. And you can do that at any Apple store. If all of this has not helped your phone and it still feels super slow, one thing you can do is plug your phone into your computer, back it up onto iTunes, and then restore it from the backup. There's plenty of tutorials out there for you if you don't know how to do this, so just look up how to restore from iTunes. And doing this can sometimes really help, as it gives the iPhone a clean slate to work from. And with that all being said, those are all the tips and tricks that I have for you today. I hope that maybe they helped, and if any of them did, maybe hit that like button, and consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you so desire. Links down in the description. And with that all being said, I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.